Hey everybody, it's Sam here with 3D Printing Canada and we just brought in AMS hubs. So as you can see, I now have one printer with two AMS units hooked up. So I can do up to eight colors. The hub will let us do up to 16 colors at one time, but let's take a look at how we got here. Okay, so we're ready to install our AMS hub on the back here. We're gonna have to take off the original one that came with it before we ever start disconnecting any cables anywhere on our printer. We wanna make sure that we turn it off and unplug it from power so that we can't accidentally turn it back on in the process. That's gonna protect all of your control boards and electronics. So we start by removing these two bolts here. They're nice and easy to come out. They're the same bolts we put in when we first installed the AMS hub on the back of the machine when it was new, or when you got your first AMS to add onto your non-combo unit. So these guys come out and the hub can disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug all of the cables that are connecting it. This short guy we're still gonna need, so I'm gonna lay him right in front. This longer one, I might need, I might not need. It depends on how we're going to set everything up in the end, but I'm gonna keep it just in case we need a spare. Now, to get your PTFE tube out of this hub so that we can reuse it is a little bit tricky. The best way that I've found is to take your Allen wrench and push this fitting down while you pull it out of the hub there. It's a little finicky, a little bit of patience should get you there. For this side that goes into the printer, we want to pull this spring back as much as we can so that we can push down the fitting and pop the PTFE tube right out there. That way we're gonna be able to reuse some of these existing PTFE lines to connect the new setup. I'm also just gonna go ahead and take my AMS unit right off the top. I don't need this one here right now. Okay, I've got my old AMS hub set off to the side. I can install that on a non-combo printer if I want to. I can just keep it for if I wanna go back to a smaller color setup or if I wanna do a batch run to reuse partial spools. It's handy to keep around. So here is the new multi-port hub. Included in the box, they've got everything that we need to do this installation or at least most of what we need. Might be a couple cables that aren't included. So first is the multi-port AMS hub. When you look at this one, you'll see it's a different shape. It's more of a full rectangle without the cutout. That's because it does have the four ports coming in on this side to be able to connect up to four AMS units. And then it still has the one port on the other side to feed into the printer. It also includes some of the longer cables to be able to connect the AMS units to each other and to the hub so that we can get the nice daisy chain going. And underneath all of this little paper, we have the bolts to be able to install it. Those are the same bolts that I just took out of the old one, I think. Oh no, these ones are actually longer. So make sure that you keep them separate because you'll need the longer bolts to install the bigger hub. And they've given us a new length of PTFE tube that we can cut for whatever we need to get everything connected in the daisy chain configuration. You can use this one and cut it into the lengths that you need to, or I'm actually going to color code it to make sure I know which AMS is connected to which port. It'll make things a little bit easier. We sell multiple colors, why not use them? So we'll get my packaging out of the way here same size Allen wrench to be able to install this. We're going to start by bolting it onto the back of the machine. It bolts onto the exact same bolt holes, same bolt pattern that the old one came off of. I like to drop the bolts in first so that I can line one up to try and hold it in place and then I'll come back and get the other one. There's the first one. Leave it just a little loose so you can adjust. And the second one. So these are a little bit tighter going in than the old ones were coming out, probably because I've installed and reinstalled and uninstalled that one a couple of times over the time I've had this printer, whereas these bolts are nice and new. So we'll just make sure everything's nice and snug, no wiggling, no movement. You are more than welcome to take your spool holder off should you need to, but 
I actually like to keep them on. It keeps the cables a little bit neater because you can wrap them down underneath it. And if you do ever get an AMS jam, you can still go back to single color printing while you're clearing it out without having to dig it out. So I leave it on, why not? The PTFE tube tail that comes from the machine just goes right through this hole on the side. It'll glide through the spring and with a little bit of wiggling, you'll be able to get it right into that PTFE connector in there. You know it's connected when you pull on it and the spring compresses. So that one's good to go now. Now I need to connect the hub to the printer. The port that we need to access is down here on the bottom. We want to plug in the four port cable. And we're going to use the original AMS cable that I had with the machine. It does have the label on it, which side goes to the printer and which side should be up. So we'll go ahead and plug in printer side. And then we'll plug in AMS side. The clip release faces towards the back, I think. The clip release on this one faces towards the front so that we can easily unplug this. That's actually a bit of an improvement over the original AMS hub because it's at the back and you have to take the whole hub off to disconnect anything. Now we're gonna start plugging everything in. We're gonna go ahead and use a daisy chain configuration, which is where you plug one thing into the next, into the next, into the next. So I'm gonna take my cable, plug the six port into the six port bottom of the AMS hub and it's going to come over to the very first port, the closest port on the back of the closest AMS. I'm using the original cable for this one because it's got lots of length to be able to do that. Next, I'm going to take one of the ones that came with the AMS hub and I'm going to plug that into the second six port on the back of this first AMS and it goes over to the first six port on the second AMS. If you're connecting three of them, you plug into the next port, go on to the next one, same idea for four. I'm gonna stop at two today because I only actually need about six colors for the print that I wanna do on this to test it out. Now, I left my original PTFE tube hanging out of this one because as I suspected, it is long enough to reach the hub. I am plugging the closest AMS into the top port on the hub. This is going to make it AMS a. I'll grab another length of PTFE tube. Again, you can cut some from what came. We have so much of it hanging around. I just grabbed a couple pieces from Tech Supply and I'm actually gonna use blue to connect B. Like I said, I'm color coding it because that'll help make sure that I can track which is plugged into which port. If you don't have the multiple colors, that's fine too. So I'll start here and I'll plug it into the second port. Again, that's gonna be port B and I just bring it around and plug it right into the port on the back here. Give it a good push so it seats in that PTFE fitting that's in there. Give it a nice tug to make sure it's in nice and secure. Now you do wanna make sure that you don't have any sharp curves or bends. This is your filament feed path and anytime you put a sharp curve in it, you're likely to start getting things stuck in it. So give yourself a couple of inches of extra length on that tube when you cut it, just to make sure it can flow smoothly. That's it, it's installed, and I think it's time to fill it up with filament and start printing. I've got my first six color print off of my bamboo with the multi AMS setup. I've got my wonderful silver plate with all of the different color coded sizes on it. Nice clean white print with all of the rings on top as well. If you're wondering why on earth would she do those sizes with those colors, it's because this is actually a holder for all of my Revo nozzles. I love putting Revo hot ends on all of my printers because it just makes compatibility a lot easier. And now each printer can have its own color-coded nozzle storage holder. So now I've got all of my multicolor printing under control. I can do up to 16 colors. It's super easy to install in Daisy Chain. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.